What better thing to do on a rainy, overcast day than to go record shopping? Today we're headed off to the flea market and maybe, just maybe, a record store. I also got the kids in tow. Guys, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. All right, be right back. Channel 33, RPM, yeah. 33, RPM. Channel 33, RPM, yeah. Final gear and more. Hey guys, my name is Frank. Welcome back to Sundays and Channel 33 RPM number one for vinyl gear and more. Our first stop here, again on this rainy day, is the Super Flea Market right here in Edmonton, Alberta. Let's go inside and check it out. Okay, guys, we're back in the car. Uh, that was some. That was fun. I got a couple things. We ran to some friends. Uh, anyway, we're gonna hit one more record store before we call it a day. Okay, guys, this is my favorite Edmonton record store. I'm not gonna do video in there. I haven't asked permission, but this is called Free Cloud Records. I'm gonna go check it out and hopefully find a couple things. Uh, what'd you see in there? Elvis. So yes. Elvis and Kiss, woohoo! I found a few records in there. We'll go back to the music room and I'll show you exactly what it is. Bye! Bye! Hola! Hola, banana! Okay guys, I had to do one more quick pit stop at the store behind me. They have the best hummus and the best pita bread in Edmonton. I got it, so uh, let's go home now. Okay guys, here I am, I'm back in the music room. As you can see, the music room actually looks a little bit different. I know uh, a couple weeks ago I told you that was probably the last new video I was gonna record here in the music room, but uh, I'm now unemployed and between jobs, as they say, getting ready to move. And the house is for sale, and when you sell your house, as you know, you have to stage your house and make it look neutral and attractive to potential home buyers. So the record shelves behind me are gone, the skulls have been removed, and this place has been cleansed and is ready for purchase. So, as I said, uh, I didn't think I have time to do a new video, but uh, I do have time tonight, so I want to show you what I got at the uh, at the flea market. There's actually uh, the vendor, the couple of vendors I showed you there basically operate as record stores, which is why it was uh, so organized. Not every seller and not every stall in that place is that organized, but that one, those two uh, I showed you were definitely organized. So. Uh, I will show you what I got you in this one. I showed you a glimpse of this in the video. This was kind of a personal grail for me of sorts. Not super rare, but it is rare enough. And this is Stevie Ray Vaughan. The glare there, apologies for the glare. And this is uh, an original copy, original US pressing of his album In Step, which is from 1988, I believe. Let's check this out. 1989. I was actually at the, the flea market the week before last. And I saw it there, it was 25 Canadian dollars, which is about uh, 20 US dollars. I thought it was a bit overpriced, then I went home, I saw it on Discogs, it actually wasn't overpriced at all, it was actually a fairly good deal. So I went back and luckily it was still there because albums are rarely there when you go back. And this one is in its original shrink with the hype sticker, etc, etc. At that same place I also picked up Van Halen for Unlawful, am I holding it upside down? Yes I am. Van Halen for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge. Long time viewers of this channel will know this is a uh, one of my favorite albums and a couple weeks ago I showed you the vinyl version I picked up. Well, uh, t the flea market there, Terry, the seller in that place, had this cassette for um, 
four or five dollars. I'll show you a photo here of its cassette section. It's got tons and tons of cassettes, including a lot of uh, old metal, hard rock, that kind of stuff. So I needed to grab uh, this Van Halen cassette, of course, which is uh, Sammy Hagar era. But great tracks on here. My favorite probably is the opening track, uh, Pound Cake. Of course, every time I hear right now, I still think of drinking Crystal Pepsi. For those of you of a certain age, you will know what I mean by that. So I got those from the flea market, and then I, uh, my kids are very patient with me. But I, I like hanging out with my girls. I think they have uh, fun in their own way. We went to Free Cloud Records afterwards, and I got a few records there, including something completely different uh, for me. And that is these two records, uh, Afro Latin Soul, Volume 1, and Volume 2. And this is by Mulatu, uh, is the main dude. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to pretend to know a lot about this, but my friend Jeff Mason uh, introduced me to these guys. Uh, we saw them in the store, and I went back to grab them. I'll check them out on YouTube. Uh, it's kind of cool. I'll show you what it says here uh, on the back. Uh, Afro Latin Soul. It says here from Ethiopia, Africa's new sound sensation, Mulatu Astaka. Astaka. Uh, really unique and interesting sound. So I got two of those fun to listen to. And this one is the reissue of uh, John Coltrane's Blue Train, uh, Blue Note 1577, a classic release, uh, which everyone, I think, should personally have in their collection. Okay, 33 years now, it's your turn. Let me know what you thought of today's episode in the comments below. If you are so inclined, also please do check out the merch store for t-shirts like this and tons more t-shirts always starting at $9.99 and shipping starting at only $3. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, on spinning.